What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22. This is one of the most effective passing concepts to basically be able to beat every single defense. And the beauty of this passing concept is it literally only requires one hot route at the most. And for most of these setups, it's not going to require any hot routes whatsoever. And so this is going to allow you to quick hike your opponent. You're going to be able to snap the ball super fast with this. And you're going to be able to basically literally beat every single coverage in Madden 22 with this one concept. Concept. So uh, the play comes to us out of the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. If you're new to the channel, uh, make sure that you subscribe. I do videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you've not gotten my Gun Bunch offensive guide yet, I want to encourage you to do that. Gun Bunch is by far the best offense in Madden 22 for several different reasons. Um, and I actually broke down not just like the Seattle playbook or not just the Carolina bunch. I actually broke down every single Gun Bunch. So the Carolina bunch, the Seattle bunch, the uh, Las Vegas bunch, the um, New York, uh, the New York bunch. I I've broken down every single bunch play in the game in this ebook for you. So if you want to get access to my full gun bunch guide this is also a guide that will update if there's any patches that come out that change some of the bombs out in it or some of the concepts we will keep you updated but as of right now the gun bunch is the best offense honestly don't see that changing anytime soon so if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook there's a link in the description you can get the entire offense for just 15 dollars. and like i said we don't just go over the carolina bunch we go over all of the major bunch formation all of the major bunch plays in the game we've got several videos there we basically broke it down almost every route combo you can possibly think of from the shotgun bunch that being said i'm super excited to share this play with you this is mesh post and we're going to be running this a little bit differently than most of the madden community likes to run this play i'll show you the way that most people like to run this play and then i'll show you the way that i like to run this play so most people in madden they like to run this one of two play one of two ways and i'm going to show you both of them the first way is to take the square receiver put him on an out route or the solo receiver put him on an out route and then just motion the slot over on a slant. Now, this is a really good setup. It really, truly is. It's great against the blitz. Um, it's great against for the red zone. It's also really good. And let's say your opponent is is really into Mabel coverage. Um, this is something that I've witnessed a lot where they basically are double flatting. This is a really, really good one. Now, just to imitate this, I'm just going to man this guy up on that slot because it's not going to make sense because obviously I can't set zone drops. But their zone drops will basically be so far back um, because they're Mabeling their coverage coverage that they're going to give up the slant late in the play so you see here it'll run and it gets over the top of that hard flat because we have that flat route to the tight end there so we create a little bit of a nice little high low in that concept so i love this play for that um another way that people like to use this concept um is more as like a red zone play so basic or not just a red zone play but basically what we're going to do here is again i'm going to set up a mabel coverage and all we're going to do is we're just going to hitch the slot receiver and put the square receiver on a little out route okay and what i like to recommend to people when they do this is go ahead and motion this guy outside i think it just helps a lot with the spacing but what you're going to see is that this running back route will get inside of the flat routes when we put an out route like that on the field to be able to pull almost every single zone in the game so as you can see it's a really really effective concept now i love both of those setups and i also run both of those setups but the setup that i want to give you in this video is designed to be able to be quick hikeable. What I mean by that is it's designed to literally come up to the line of scrimmage and snap the ball super fast against your opponent. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're literally not gonna do anything. We're not gonna do anything whatsoever. We're just gonna set it and we're just gonna, we're literally just gonna come out and spam hike, that's it. And our first read is always this uh, this this wheel route. I think this is one of the hardest routes to intercept in the entire game. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some hard flats here. And what you're gonna see is that this linebacker on the left side is not in the hard flat. I can throw that with consistency every Every single time and why I like this so much is because it gives me a, cons a consistent read so if the if the linebacker blitzes I know I'm gonna be able to throw that and get that little animation and it's gonna basically lead me up field I'm past leading that to the outside and it's gonna lead me and uh, upfield and let me walk up and down and field against my opponent now if that linebacker is in a zone but he jumps backwards like that i can still throw this relatively easily and be in a position where i'm going to be in a pretty good op a uh, pretty good opportunity for my passing so again let me show you here i'm going to go to tampa 2 and just play hard flats on it and watch you see how that that cloud gets sucked in and I can just, again, pass lead it to the outside. And this is literally one of my favorite flat routes in the game. And the reason why is because the drag and the flat combination this year are super, super effective. Again, just pass lead that to the outside. And as you can see there, I'm throwing that a little bit too, uh, a little bit late uh, in the play. So let me show it to you one more time. 
And again, all I'm going to do is just pass lead this to the left, click out, and as you can see, um, it's just a really effective concept. It's very consistent. I've never thrown an interception on this route. Um, I literally have never thrown an interception on this route. So that's why I like it so much because it gives me something super consistent that I could just snap, throw this out here, and as you can see, I got an, in, in, in Madden this year, uh, running backs break a lot of tackles. So that could potentially be six. So that's going to force him to have to go to a cover two. They literally, um, another adjustment, let me show you real quick. I'm going to put a Mabel out of the Mike Blitz 3 with the hard flat to the left side guy. What you'll see is if they do that, um, and I'm sorry, I forgot. I accidentally wasn't able to throw that, but let me show it to you again. So um, the reason why I like this is because let's say they play a hard flat here to the linebacker on the left. You'll notice that the drag will suck him in this year, and you'll be able to throw that to the outside. And as you can see, I can get consistent yardage um, against this. So what this forces is it forces your opponent to have to play hard flatted cover two. Well, nobody in their right mind wants to play a hard flatted cover two. Literally no one. Um, and but it's what it's going to do is it's going to open up a plethora of different options. The one of which is going to be our drag routes. These drag routes will get under everything. I absolutely love these drag routes because they also. Um, they get open at multiple points on their route. So they're going to have to play at least two hard flats and at least two yellow zones. And honestly, they're going to have to use or one of the drag routes. It's borderline impossible to stop these drag routes this year. Um, and, and that's why I love this play because basically I'm going to do a one, two read. I look left. Oh, there's somebody there. Okay, now I can throw the drag. And as you see, I mean, it's literally that consistent. You can pass lead these things right through zones this year. And I absolutely love that about that. Now, another thing is if I see that corner on the left side kind of sitting like hard flat like that, I'm just going to wait for just a second and I can pass lead that wheel route right up the seam. And as you can see, it gets in a really, really nice position um, against my opponent. Now, the one thing that I would recommend is if you motion snap this guy just a little bit, it will help a little bit later in the play. You see, it creates a little bit better spacing. And as you you can see it still gets underneath every major every major zone in the game so now what i want to show you is i want to show you this play against man-to-man -man covers like i said this is literally my favorite play in the game i could talk about this for hours but all we're going to do is just show this against man coverage what you're going to do is you're going to low ball that wheel route against man coverage and it will pretty much very consistently um it will be very successful for you if you play man um so if you're playing someone and they like to spam man coverage just low ball the wheel route this year and you're going to see a lot of success on that route it's really really hard to stop in man-to-man -man coverage um, the next thing that I want to go over is your double drags. One of these drags will get open. Most of the time, it's the right side guy, but occasionally that left side guy will get open as well. And this is truly what Mesh is supposed to do. What it's, You're going to literally watch, and the players are going to run into each other. They're literally going to run into each other as you throw this route. One adjustment, if you wanted to make one hot route, okay, because you can make one hot route and be really quick here, I would just simply drag the square receiver. You're going to see it's going to make it a little bit of a more shallow route. And the reason why I like that shallow route is because you're going to guarantee that they're going to run into each other. So we get that meshing action against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the other reason why I absolutely love this play is because this post route over the middle is so good this year. Um, that deep half zone this year, if let's say they're playing like cover two man and you know it, they're just coming out and playing stock cover two man and they're maybe shading their, their coverage underneath, what you'll see is that deep half on that left side he won't go guard this running back. So he's going to stay over there on the post. Now, most of the time, people are going to adjust their their man to man coverage. Most of the time, what you're going to see is some kind of roll coverage like this, like a shaded up man to man or something like that. Um, and the reason I say that is because if you watch your post route, what you're going to see is you can just pass like that, you know, to the left a little bit. There, I got a bad animation. Um, part of this is to a route running thing. In Mutt, you're going to have a little bit more success as long as you have good route running players. Um, the other thing I did want to say is, you know, if they run an inside third to the right, then typically what you're going to see is you're honestly going to see something like this. You might see this be their user. Um, he might get sucked underneath. There's a lot of things that could happen to that guy. But if that left safety opens, you look up the middle and there's a lot of space, he's going to beat man coverage. It's just a matter of is that safety on the left side in a position to make a play. 
which is another reason why I do like to occasionally motion this guy out because what you're going to see is when we motion him out, it really does improve the spacing across the for the whole play. But as you can see, this is one of my favorite concepts in the entire game, and there's no there's no adjustments to it. You literally just snap up, snap the ball as fast as possible, and this play will absolutely serve you super super well. Uh, one last thing I want to show is that team for two setup. When you drag the square receiver, you'll see that he'll come in just a little bit more, and it'll give me a little bit. Of, it'll give you a little bit of clarity um, right off the bat what they're doing, and the reason why is because he's he's in his he's into his drag animation faster than he normally would be. So you can look there. Oh, they're in hard flats. So I'm just gonna wait and then throw right over the top of the hard flat just like that for an easy dot. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide, there is a link in the description below. You can get the full offensive system for just $15. Like I said, it's my favorite offense. It's by far the most effective offense. There's a several different ways to run the gun bunch, and we break down every single one of those in our offensive guide, and then you can choose whichever playbook or whichever concepts work for you. Thank you so much for your time and your support, and again, if you want to get the gun bunch offensive guide, there's a link in the description.